Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. And welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray as we close out show number 494 over the past 19 plus years. Uh, looking forward in six weeks to that 500th show. Uh, going to have some giveaways, going to have uh, some special guests. Uh, you know Bill Danson have to be on this thing, so... Uh, We'll work, we're working on that to make it a special show. But this has been a special show. Shelby McCall uh, taking care of me as my show producer. We have been around the United States just about. We've been to Kentucky. We've been to Alabama. We've been to Savannah, Tennessee. We just got off the phone from uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And now we're going to switch over to Mount Juliet, Tennessee. That, if I'm not mistaken, their nickname is the Honey Bears. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, at uh, Mount Juliet High School. And I bet, I don't even know if our guest knows that, but uh, it's good to have <laughs> Bill Dickinson on with us from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. He is the co-founder of a familiar brand that uh, all of us have heard about for a long time, uh, Tetra. And uh, talk, to, talk to Bill about a recent partnership with some somebody named the Duck Commander. I mean, uh, I think I've heard of that too, but... Uh, we may talk hearing a lot on this, but uh, let's start right out with Bill Dickinson. Good morning, Bill. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, boy, can I ever! And uh, and but that's a that's a great intro. I appreciate that. Well, um, I, I gotta. I'm, I'm going to spin you a little bit further. I'm a little bit further west. I'm closer to you, Larry. Uh, I've just snuck back off to the shores of of Kentucky Lake. We've been, we've been chasing around some resident geese here this morning. Well, way to uh, go. Yes. Well, that's... So I'm not, I'm not back in Mount Juliet. Anymore. Okay. I'm not in the office. Well, you're in the, the, you're in the outdoors world, which is very important to you guys. So let's, let's talk about, uh, first the company itself, Bill. Uh, I mean, uh, Tetra is, uh, everybody knows a hearing technology company. It's aimed at helping hunters and shooters protect they're hearing while allowing them to experience the great outdoors. And you guys have been doing it for a while. So talk about the company itself and maybe explain to the listeners. I know uh, the name of the company, Tetra. Well, what, um, what, what we identified, my partner and myself, uh, I'm a doctor of audiology, and so was my partner, David Genevico. Yes. David's got a, a, a practice here locally in, in Mount Juliet. We met back geez 2003 when we were both at Vanderbilt teaching and doing research and so at the end of the day you just got a couple of uh, kind of geeky ear guys that that would rather spend time camo uh, either hanging in a tree or in a duck pit than with a white <laughs> lab coat on okay yeah but what we did what we did with uh with Tetra is the whole premise of, we don't need to create the good Lord gave us a good way of protecting our hearing. We can stick a finger in our ear. Yes, we can. Yeah. But the, what, what Tetra is all about is, is that we brought all of that hearing science and how the ear works and how all of the small technology works. We started with a really high end premium circuit and we said, we are going to create an awesome listening experience for that hunter and that shooter because that's why most guys weren't wearing any hearing protection, particularly right. in, 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 in the hunter, and particularly that, that waterfall hunter. That's right. And yeah. if, if, if we can make it an awesome listening experience, and then, oh, yeah, we're going to protect the ear better than anything else when that trigger is pulled. And that was our goal. And, man, that's what we – that's what's setting the world on fire. And the name and, itself, uh, you, now, uh, Tetra, T-E-T-R-A, talk about that. I mean uh... – because a lot of people ask I love me. It. No, nobody really wants to go there, so thank you for going there. What, what Tetra is is it's based off of uh, of, of tetrapods and, and tetrapoda, and, and those are okay. all the, the animals that that went. It's the best evolutionary process of, of of change that we have documented in science of going from the sea to the land. Yeah. Okay. And and yeah. and Larry, that's what we're trying to do is that we're trying to change and evolve how hunters and, and shooters yes. care about their hearing and, yes. and, and how they protect their hearing across their lifetime. Well, I tell you what, uh, 
uh, if you boy, you guys would have been born back a long time ago, you might have helped uh, my uncle and a lot of other ones from World War II and other places because I don't know how they ever survived uh, what they did and would come back and, and be hunters, but they couldn't hear anything. And I think you guys have taken it to the next step uh, through your love of the outdoors. I can see that. And when I read it or I, or I watch uh, David's videos on Facebook or whatever it might be talking about your different products, you guys really believe in the outdoors and the experience. And why why should we have a bad experience because we can't hear, right? <laughs> Boy, you're, you're, you're talking about being on the bullseye with that. And that's why we're very careful in, in our slogan or our tagline says, tetra hear the hunt yes yeah and and because it, there's so much of that success and definitely the enjoyment of what we love to do in the outdoors with the people that we love the most yeah and like to spend our time with it, it's all about hearing it's connecting to nature it's connecting to that animal that you're chasing it's being able to be you know to be one in the moment and then be able to connect to the people that you're with and when we talk about hear the hunt Man, it starts with that first cup of coffee at three in the morning before you jump in the truck. Yes, it does. And it's it, it's talking to your grandson in the blind, and it's it's getting you know it's getting that your your daughter on her first first youth hunt. Uh, you know, it's it's coaching <laughs> yes. her back and forth as she's so nervous to put that scope on that deer for the first time. And when we talk about here the hunt, it is all about the actual hunting and about the animal. And we can talk, you can go online at tetrahunt.com and you can see all the crazy digitization that we did of animal sounds and, and how Been there. we're, we're yeah, building folks. technology for specific pursuits of hunting. But it's really about that connection to people and connection to nature that we're, uh, that we're targeting. And I, th- I know that uh, uh, you also talk about your family. I, I, I'm my kid's dad, Lisa's husband, and a God-loving Christian you hit me right at home right there, uh, Bill, by that statement. And so uh, I appreciate you boldly saying that. Uh, that makes you more connected to outdoors with Larry Ray than you'll ever know. But I know also uh, on that same level the partnership with Duck Commander. Talk about that because uh, nobody's more God-fearing and, and, uh, and, and, and a God-loving Christian than the Robertson family. So talk about the connection with Duck Commander. Oh, isn't that true? Um, and I mean, you, you you talk about you talk about the gifts that the good Lord gives us, and and one of those was was accidentally bumping into to Justin Martin uh-huh. out in Las Vegas at the Shot Show last year. Okay, and we were out there. <laughs> yeah, because we got a really we got a fantastic award. We we were given the the Guns and Ammo New Technology of the Year award. Uh, at at this last shot show back in, well, I wasn't going to mention that. I'm glad and, you did because I was going to mention it if you didn't. So uh, pretty uh, big award. Yeah. When like, I when I opened up that email, <laughs> my, my the first thing that hit the table was my jaw. Yes. I mean I just <laughs> couldn't believe um, how cool. exciting that was. And so you met well, Justin, so we, and that kind of got the wheels going. Uh, and, uh, and and we showed him what we had and what we were doing, and he uh, he said, "Well, I've got about ten days left in my hunting season. Do you mind if I borrow that?" And, uh, <laughs> and so I I said, "No, sir, it's yours." And and he took it home, and and in about in about two weeks, he started blowing up our email, just saying like he's never ever hunted with anything in in his ear like that before. That it was all the stuff we're looking for. That you can blow a duck call. And you can and you can cut up and have fun with your buddies and 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 you can hear his big thing was like for the first time I heard birds cutting behind the blind and, and the whole wing yes you know, the, oh yeah and uh, and he just said one good thing after another and it just kind of kept evolving and um, and they found they found space to work with us and um, you know the the first thing I told him is. Justin, we're we're a whole lot different company than all the success that, that that you've had on the Duck Commander side. We don't, I don't have real big deep pockets. Yeah, and the, the, you talk about being a, a a godly man. He said, "Bill, we don't care. We want to work with you." That's right. That's and, him. Um, yep, that's and him. So, you know, the rest of it, the rest of it all happened. I went down, and I had the absolute time of my life fitting all the duck men and. 
the, the, the first one was old Uncle Cy. And, oh, uh, he, he's been on this show. <laughs> Did he sing to you? I mean, you know, he's a singer now, you know. I didn't know if you knew he, that. <laughs> he was, yeah, well, he was, I did not know that until that day, Larry. Yes, he yeah. was singing, he was preaching, he was blowing a duck call, he um, he was <laughs> he was doing it all, and of course he was doing it with that big jug of tea and that little green cup. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah, it's and just the people, like the show. Yeah, well, Uncle Sly and the Psychotics is the name of his group. So if uh, you ever <laughs> want to see, uh, he can sing pretty good. But again, we're talking. To, the Bill Dickinson of uh, um, technically Mount Juliet, uh, Tetra, uh, the recently uh, partnership with the Duck Commander, but uh, not just about that. But, folks, I know we're getting ready to hit the hunting seasons, uh, technically for ducks and deer in uh, in Tennessee particularly. Uh, I hunt with a buddy who we hunt together a lot, whether we're uh, hunting squirrels, whatever it might be, uh, particularly deer, and I got to be on one side of him, and he'll never hear me at all, you know. And so, uh, this is what uh, these guys have come up with to help you folks out there uh, to have a more enjoyable to listen to God's critters as they come awake in the morning. And as Bill explained in there, even the the wings that you may not hear normally. And I know you duck hunters, uh, a lot of you guys can't hear, but you can sure hear somebody when they say they killed it. And you really killed it. So, I mean, that's uh, the difference there. But uh, So tell our listeners, uh, Bill, about how they can get more information and uh, uh, the product itself. Is it available anywhere in the box stores, or does it all have to come through uh, your website and things? No, right now we're. Uh, that's a great question. We're 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 direct to consumer. You can do everything. You can you can perform a fully calibrated hearing test. And you submit that, and we customize every device specific for your hearing needs Amazing. between each year. Yeah. Um, you can do it all online. The, the website, it's all the stuff that we deal with these, these days. The website is, is tetrahunt.com, or you can put in tetrahearing.com. Either one of those will get you where you need to be. Um, and you can check out all the different pursuits, all the different hunting styles that we build technology for a single or a multi-purpose pursuit um you can test your hearing you can check us out on facebook and instagram and all that good stuff and if you want you can do the old-fashioned way you can pick up the phone and you can call me (laughs) yes so i'm going to give you my number here and i don't care who's listening they're welcome to use it all right my personal number is is 615-618- Nine nine zero four. He's giving you and his personal we, number, folks. I'm telling you, what. that's the kind of company that we're that. That's the kind of company we are. Well, uh, I you're not going to get a voicemail, and, and we want to talk directly to the people that are absolutely using and loving our product. And you can go to you will be able to go to lroutdoors.com. My website will have all this information uh, posted about uh, Bill and David and their great company. Uh, particularly uh, for you deer hunters out there, there's a great video that David has done about that deer app that they have that uh, will probably open up not only your ears but your eyes. Uh, Bill, thank you, buddy. Have a great weekend. Uh, I'm going to stay in touch with you because I'm going to be your uh, Tetra man in Memphis here, okay? <laughs> you got it. I promise that will happen, Larry. All right, Thank buddy. you so much. Thanks you won't so much, Bill. All right. Okay, uh, i got a couple of minutes closing out today's show. We'll, we'll be back next week, Lord willing. Uh, it will be third Saturday. You know that's Frank Barton on the show. Uh, hey, man, we're going to Frog Togs, man, next week. Will Turner, the Frog Togs are coming back. They've got a new uh, deal they've worked out, and I want you to hear about it. And you know I am a Frog Togs man. And so, uh, man, they got great clothes. Uh, dry, keeps you dry and everything like that. So that's next week. Uh, uh, Frank Barton. Will Fowler, a lot more surprises on Outdoor Larry Ray as we close in on show number 495. This is Larry reminding you as I do each and every week. It doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport. God bless the USA.